In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Facebook autoresponder for your Facebook pages messenger service. So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna start off, we're gonna find the actual page where to set this up, and then we're gonna go from there. So there's a few ways to get to this page depending on what you're doing. It could be desktop, phone, or is using the new desktop experience. We're gonna go through all those very quickly. First one is if you've got a page that hasn't been updated to the new desktop experience, you simply wanna go into uh, your page here to get your page open, and on the left, under Meta Business Suite, go to inbox and you'll see at the top here automated responses and once you click that that is now up on the screen however if you want to use a phone there is a similar process which I'll cover in a sec right now now you will need to actually not use the Facebook app on your phone but install the meta business suite using Google Play or using your uh, Apple apps app the one that's on screen right now is the one you want installed in order to make this happen so now you can open it up and get started now open up your page in the app and head down to the inbox button at the bottom and then head up the top to the two speech bubbles and you can press on that little icon to take you to automations. You can then click see all if you want to actually see all of the automations and then click try it on any of those in order to start using these features. However, if you are using the new pages experience on Facebook, the process is slightly different. So you've got your page here, you've switched over to manager and you need to go to your professional dashboard on the left and then scroll down to you see messaging settings. And from there, you can access the automated responses. So I'm gonna switch back to the original page and go through this Okay, so now we're actually at the automated responses section. If you're on your phone, it will be laid out a little bit differently, but the same options will be there and do the same things. Now, what you'll notice also is sometimes you'll put certain options on and it might actually com conflict with other options and turn them off. And also certain pages tend to lose certain options. I don't know why that is, but it's just an issue that is um, something that you have. I guess certain pages, they feel are suitable for certain options and not others. But what we're gonna do here you can see you've got some options on the left here. So instant reply means someone messages you, you send a message back. Away, you can set certain times that you're actually available or away and send a message during the times you are away. So if you have business hours, it can be good for that. Frequently asked questions, you can set up a bunch of questions and answers. Comment to message. If someone comments on a status with a certain hashtag, they can actually you can set up an automatic response from that. And if someone asks for your contact information, location or hours, you can set that up as well. As well as a job application received, you can actually set up an automatic response if you have posted a job, someone's applied for it. Also, under custom keywords, you can set up certain keywords. So if someone actually asks a certain question in a conversation, then it'll respond with a certain uh, response. So you can put on there something like, if someone says hamburger, you can say, we have the following hamburgers and uh, respond with that if you want to. Also, some other basic things, if someone leaves positive or negative feedback on your page, you can set up a response. You can set up an appointment reminder. If someone has set an appointment through a page, you can actually set up an automatic reminder that their appointment is coming up. And of course, you can send a message to people who have recommended or not recommended your page. So that way you can sort of say thank you, or you can try and convince them as to why you they shouldn't be <laughs> leaving a negative response. So now the way it works, any of these you click on, you find the one you want. I'm gonna go through these a little bit, but let's say it's positive feedback, because that's a nice simple one. I tick if I want it to be on Messenger. There might be an Instagram one there if um, for certain options, but not for this one. I make sure I have this turned on up here. By default, it will probably be turned off, but I wanna turn that on, tick the platform I want it to be on, and then I can go through and type my message in here. All right. so I can actually put my message in there. I can put an emoji in there if I want to. A little fist bump. I can also say personalize the message by putting the first name of the recipient in there and adding that. So it's got my name there at the moment. So Wade, we're glad you had a positive experience. And you can also do things like add media or add a button. And that button could be, you know, check out our website and you can pop your web address in there. So let's say I'm the owner of Google. I probably wouldn't be doing this on my Facebook page because I own Google, but you get the idea. Add a button label. And you can see we save those changes. So now if someone leaves positive feedback, we send this message off and they also have a little button there that says, check out our website, it goes off to Google. So that's basically how the thing works. You wanna turn it on, choose the platform and type the message. And for these ones down the bottom here, that's gonna be pretty much the same. 
the appointment reminder might have a little bit more, but we say we're looking forward to your appointment soon. Um, I believe you might be able to put the appointment time in there. I uh, can't really remember. Uh, but it's probably good to say, remember your appointment is coming up in 24 hours. So this is sent 24 hours. So tomorrow you can say, you can go through and set those up the way you want to for more. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're gonna go back to the top. So we got a little bit more order about this video. So I've got an instant reply. If I tick this, if I turn this on and I want it to happen on Messenger or if I have Instagram linked up, anyone sends me a message, I can now go through and send them this response that I've set up. Once again, I can customize that by typing. So I say, thank you, thank you, thank you, or something like that. I can add in whatever I want to that message. I click save changes. And now whenever someone messages me on Facebook or Instagram at any time, they will receive this message. But I am going to turn that off and save the changes that I turned off. So off, turn that off. Now the away message, sometimes is a little bit funny. I don't know why, but you'll hit an option and it'll just not be there. The away message I've found sometimes you can turn it on and you need to refresh for that to actually update. But the away message is a little more complicated. So I do want to go through it with Messenger, Instagram, I can set up hours that I'm available. So you can see these hours here. I'm actually going to turn all those off and just reset that for the sake of the video. So now I'm available all the time, so there won't be any away message sent. But if I decide I only want to talk to people Monday to Friday, I can take Sunday and Saturday and add a start time that I'm away, so 12 a.m., and an end time, which would be 11.59 p.m. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to add that one in there and on Saturday I'm going to do the same again 12 a.m. you can either choose from the drop down or you can type in a time there and save those changes. So now you'll see I am not available on Sunday or Saturday so they will receive this message I've typed up. Now you notice here I've typed in, I've actually customized this before the video so I can remove that or I can add it back in. Our business hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. So what you would then want to do is turn on all of these days at the top here and start adding in your custom times. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Monday. I'm not gonna go through the rest of the week because it will just be repeating the same thing. But on Monday, I would say I'm not available between 12 a.m and let's say 8.59 a.m. I can add another time range. I would then say if I'm knocking off at five o'clock, I would say I'm not available from 5.01 p.m. and the end time would be 11.59 p.m. And I click off and you'll see down here, I'm available during these hours. So I click save changes. And now I have an away message set up you do want to check your time zone as well. Make sure you've got time zone that is relative to you. So you're setting hours that suit you and not someone else. So the platforms we want them on, the time zone, the days, and then repeat this process through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you can set custom times for each day that you will be available to respond to messages. And when you're not available, it will actually send this automated message to people who message. So that's just a good way to customize it based on what time they actually message you and can be pretty handy. Frequently asked questions. Again, there's a little bit more of a process to that. So on Messenger, someone asks me a question. I say, add another question. The question, I it pops up. I click the little pencil icon over here. I type in, what is your favorite color? And I just say blue or whatever. Yeah, that's just uh, for the to show you what I mean. And you can also customize it for Instagram as well, like add in certain questions. But on Messenger, I've got here, what is your favorite color? And I can add in from there more questions, such as, you know, how tall are you? And I can say something like, you know, seven meters, something like that, which I'm definitely not. I save those changes. And generally it will pop up here. It hasn't, but you sort of get the idea. It'll actually pop up to questions. I can actually have a menu system where the questions pop up and they click on it. Uh, but that's some reason doesn't display straight away. So I'll actually just try and refresh this for a second. Okay, I've refreshed this and it's still not previewing for some reason. But uh, I don't know why, but I've had issues getting the preview to work. But 
basically we just keep adding the questions we want into. So yeah, no, and you sort of get the idea. So you can set up questions and it's a great way if you've got people asking the same question over and over again, set it up under frequently asked questions. That's exactly what it is. It's a frequently asked question. Automate your answer, save some time. And again, under comment to message, you can set up, I'm gonna save that. If someone leaves a comment on one of my Facebook posts I can, and leaves a certain hashtag such as talk to me, then anyone who says, oh, I really like your post, hashtag talk to me, that will send an automated message so I'm going to click add that hashtag and I can actually customize this hashtag response to send a message such as I'm talking to you. How can I help? So that way you can actually use these as a call to action. If you have a post where you say, sorry, I'm going to just say sample because I didn't mean to do that. If you have a post that says something along the lines of hey, we're running a new promotion or something, hashtag this and we will send you a message and talk to you about how to get your whatever it is to you. So depending on what you're doing with that, you do need to turn it on up the top here to activate it, but you can set up these hashtags and set up automated messages, automated messages to that and they'll send a personal message to that person. I'm just gonna say no thanks. Now remember, I've clicked no thanks because I don't wanna save these. I'm just demonstrating. If you want to save those, definitely actually save. Click save changes at the bottom or click save when that message pops up to save the changes you've actually made. So contact information, if someone asks me for contact information, I turn that on, it's messenger, say I live in Australia. And you might wanna put down your actual address or something like that because obviously they're looking for contact information. Although in this case, it might be phone. We phone the classic 555, 5555 or email and pop that in there so people can contact you, save those changes. And the process is in the same for location. You turn that on, you click on messenger, type in your address if you have a brick and mortar business. If you don't, don't use that option. And for hours, you can also put that here. We have no hours available on our page, but it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. If someone asks about those hours, I can set that up so people know. And the same job application, once again, no thanks. Job application received, go in, turn that on. They've received your application. They always have a sample message there, so it's good to check that out so you know. But of course, if someone has received a job application, you can add in some media, like it could be a PDF talking about what's next or what we want in a future employee, or a button saying, you know, fill out this form online and you give them a link. So same as before, the button is simply just a button label and a website address. The media, you can actually upload a file. So I like say like a PDF or something for people to see. The final one is custom keywords. I'm going to click no thanks again. If someone asks about something, so let's say someone asks about an e-commerce website. I'm gonna say e-commerce website. I click messenger. There are certain keywords. I say e-commerce, cart, store, or shop. And that way, anyone who uses any of these keywords will receive this action such as, I do build e-commerce websites starting from 5,500 or something like that. You can probably put a bit more information in there. Yeah, you know, a little bit more about the service, what people expect if you want to. You don't wanna make it too long. You only get 500 characters, but that's a great way to fully customize what it is you do. So when people contact you about a service, you can have an automated message ready to go. And this is great if you get very particular um, questions. And if you've used up your frequently asked questions, then maybe you wanna go down here to your custom keywords and get something a bit more AI focused to make that happen. So once again, if I want to turn that on, I'm going to turn this one on and save changes. Any one of those you set up in any of these options on the left, turn it on, save changes. The away message is a little different. It doesn't have a slider. It will generally activate. Um, before I had to refresh my page for that light to, to light up. It's a little bit sort of a laggy, but that's simply how you do it. Click on the option, fill out what you'd like here and it will set up the automatic messaging. Now, if you do have any issues with this, uh, just 
confirm you got it turned on. Confirm there's no error messages. Otherwise, sometimes people do have issues. But uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Um, it's a, it's a bit of a it's a it's complex for many, simple for others. But um, I'm hoping this has been useful to you and you've learned and given you a bit more ease in setting this up. So otherwise, if you need more Facebook information, I do have a playlist on my channel that you can go through with more playlist, more sort of Facebook tutorials. Otherwise, have a great day. I hope to see you again soon.